Hey YouTube, it's Ray coming back at you again with another video, this time on medications. Now I know some of you may already be comfortable identifying psychotropic medications because of your current or your previous uh, work, but it's always good to have a refresher, you know, keep it fresh in our brain. And if you're someone that has never worked with psychotropic medications before, don't worry, I got you, stay tuned. We are gonna treat the medication questions as freebies. Uh, everyone I know that has taken the LSW exam or the LCSW exam has always reported having at least two medication questions on their exam, and that's important. And the reason why that's important is because, again, we're training these as freebies because, you know, two points could literally be the difference between whether we pass the exam or fail the exam. And we don't want to fail the exam. So we want to take all those freebies, you know, as much as possible. And if we get more medication questions, more freebies. Also, keep in mind, we need to know both the brand name and the generic name. And I know that can be a lot, especially uh, we may know or just be very comfortable with the brand name, but the generic name is like, what? I never saw that before, but don't worry, I got you. In fact, some of the generic names are extremely identical to the brand name. So I have all of them a link down in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And uh, again, stay tuned because we're really gonna be diving into this. The medications covered are for uh, mood disorders, anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, and ADHD. All in all, there's 46 medications. And what I want us to do right now is grab 46 index cards. And just as a quick note, uh, make sure all the index cards are the same color, just so it doesn't mess with our memorization process when we're kind of going through, trying to remember and retain the information. We don't want to associate just certain colors uh, with the medication uh, areas so that you know it kind of throws us off our game. Now that we have our 46 index cards, we're going to write all the brand names and generic names on each of the 46 index cards. So um, let's get started. Now that we have all our index cards laid out nice and neat, we have the schizophrenia medications over here, the mood disorder medications over here, the anxiety disorder medications right here, the present disorder medications right here, and the ADHD medications right here. I'm gonna show you guys how we can easily get 11 medications memorized with seemingly no work. Any medication that begins with a P or an F, depressive disorder medication. And if it ends in PRAM, P-R-A-M, depressive disorder medication. When it comes to the anxiety disorder medications, memorize VXK PAM, VXK PAM. If the medication starts with a V, an X or a K, it's an anxiety disorder medication, or ends in PAM, P-A-M, anxiety disorder medication. Now we're gonna memorize the ADHD medications and the mood disorder medications. And I'm gonna show you a trick once we really got those memorized, so stay tuned. What I want you to do is uh, take some time, take about 10 minutes, memorize the ADHD medications to the best of your ability, memorize the mood disorder medications to the best of your ability, mix them up, and from there, we're gonna see if we can uh, put them in the right category for mood or ADHD. So we could take the other ones, put them to the side for now, and we'll come back to it in a second. We're gonna take them, we're gonna shuffle them up, just really mix them up, get them nice and mixed up all over, right? Now that they're all mixed up, I want you to have your mood disorder category over here and your ADHD category over here and one by one go through them and try to pair them with their correct match. Um, do this about, mm, do it five times. Do it a good five times. Take note of the ones you got wrong and just do it again and again and again and again and again until you got to five times and trying. And we're just gonna stick with these for a couple days just to make it really mesh in. Now that we have a really good understanding and memorization of the mood disorder medications and the ADHD medications, the other two medications that begin with A are for anxiety and that's all of them. You essentially memorize all of the anxiety medications by memorizing the mood disorder medications, the ADHD medications, and by using the two phrases we put together. 
So remember, start with ADHD, start with the mood disorder medications, mix them up, try and pair them, and do that for a couple days. Really memorize the mood disorder and ADHD medications and the two phrases that we put together and you're more than halfway there for memorization. The really good thing about the psychotropic medications for schizophrenia, a lot of the names are similar. The generic name and the brand name are very identical. So we can get away with a lot and memorize less. So definitely use this technique. It's very helpful. And for the lingering medications, we can add two every couple of days in the mix while we keep separating them and you'll start to see that hey i'm picking this i'm picking up on this very very quickly so definitely give it a shot something to also note uh, a lot of the testing sites supply you with something to write on so as soon as you get to the testing site you put down your stuff you get comfortable i will write out the two phrases we discussed pf pram anything beginning with p or f and n or ending with pram is it a depressive disorder medication and we also have VXK PAM. Any medication beginning with a V, X, or K, anxiety disorder medication, or ending in PAM, P-A-M, anxiety disorder medication. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as I plan to come out with more content. And um, see you soon. Bye.